Guys, welcome back to the channel! Today, we're doing an extra 300 programming and binding to my DX8 G2. Such a good controller, by the way, guys. They don't make it anymore. You can get the NX8 now. Awesome. I'm sure it's awesome. Haley has the NX6. I'm sure the NX8 is like it. And the NX6 is amazing. But anyway, we've got the DX8 G2 today. Uh, we're going to bind it in safe mode, put it on a switch so we can come in and out of it if we want to. And it is a stunt plane, so we're going to make sure we can come out of safe mode because we're going to do lots of stunts. So, guys, let's get into it. Let's do some programming. All right, now we are set up facing down. Didn't even have to wait for me. Editing's awesome, right? So, we've got a high rate of 100% and a low rate of 70%. We've got some expo on low rates for 15% and expo on high rates of 30%. Right? How easy is this going to be, guys? How easy? Airplanes are amazing. If you've never done a helicopter, then uh, yeah, airplanes are simple. A uh, quick way to get into your uh, menu is to hold down on the scroll bar, scroll knob, scroll wheel. There you go, scroll wheel. And then turn it on, and it'll go straight to the system setup where we can do model select easy peasy right all the way at the bottom new model do you want to create a new model yes create a new model and what is it going to be let's go to model type of course it's going to be an airplane data will be reset yes okay model name um, i'm not going to bother naming it right now uh, you just got to go through uh, each letter, change everything one by one. Um, it takes a little bit more time than what we'd like sometimes. It's a little bit weird doing the uh, the naming in there, but it works out good. Aircraft type, we're going to stay normal. Looks good. Like everything's, guys, there's nothing really to do on an airplane, really. We're pretty much done. We'll hit back already. It was on normal. And uh, yeah, I didn't name it yet, so it still says Acro. But let's go back into the menu now and set up some rates and expo. Okay, right now I'm on curve one. Or, sorry, it says curve one, but that's because the switch is on. I'm going to change this to switch B. I like to have my rates on switch B, so then I can, not my rates. Um, this is going to be my flight mode. Sorry, guys. Sorry. This is going to be for my safe. This is where my rates are going to be. I like to have my rates on F. Is where I like them. Got confused for a second. Um, I like to have a low, medium, and high sometimes. So I like to go on F. Give myself some extra room. Anyway, click on switch. Switch that to F. Now it knows that we want to be on F. And the aileron dual rates. 100% all the way through on on uh, on high rates there. Aileron good. Switch it to elevator. We got to switch that to also uh, switch F. F? That was F, right? Yeah, F. Now we need to switch rudder also to F. Easy peasy, right? And they're already at 100%. High rate 100%. We can go ahead and switch the expo right now. It said we were going to be at 30. 30 expo all across the board 30 30 30 30 30 come on come on it's a little bit awkward with this camera right in front of me guys i i don't know how the other guys do it but i'm having to give this camera the old reach around and it's uh, a little awkward 30 here we go 30 100 on 30 okay that is on curve zero let's go to curve um i'm just gonna put a high and a low this time so it's gonna be zero and one I like to start at the beginning, so we'll just start at aileron. Aileron! Okay, my ailerons, they said we were going to be low rate 70%, right? And expo was going to be 15%, correct? Is that where it was? Let's check really quick. Okay, so low rates, 70%. And the expo is 15%. Yep, that's exactly where we were headed. Good job, us. Oh, 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 I don't know why I hit back. Stay, stay in there, guys. We weren't done. We got aileron done. Elevator's already uh, still at 100%. So let's go down to 70 for low rates and 15% expo. And let's go to rudder. Same thing, 70% on the rates and 15% on the expo. 
The, the rates is basically how far the servos are going to move. They're only going to move 70%. And the Expo is how soft things are. You can see it makes a curve here. You'll still get full stick movement out of it, but it's going to be a softer little bit of a curve as it goes past. That's basically it. Something else that I always do to my planes is put a throttle cut in, guys. Or a throttle, uh, yeah, throttle cut. And I'm going to put it on H. I like my hold on H. So let's put it on H. And we are going to go negative 150. So when, this, when the... Uh, when the switch is on, throttle will go to negative 150. Just an easy way to put a safety switch on there. And that's it, guys. It still says acro, but this is extra 300. Okay, let's bind it. And yeah, let's bind it, guys. Let's go. Okay, here we are. We've already done the programming. Now we are ready to actually bind it. We're gonna go on the underside. This AR631 receiver is gonna be right on the underside here. Easy to get to, magnetic cover. Put your bind plug in and you can't mess it up. It's in a bind slot. It's not even any slot, it actually says bind on it. So put your bind plug in the AR631 if you have the plug and play version, then it might be different. But the bind and fly comes with the AR631. Okay, got the bind plug in. Take the battery cover off, also magnetic, very cool guys. Hopefully they stay strong enough in the air though, I think they will. I haven't seen anybody complain about them, so should be good. Now, power your plane on. I just have a 3S battery in here right now, this is the closest one that was on my shelf. It takes 3 or 4S, but we're just going to use 3S to, uh, to bind it. Plug it in, the AR, you heard 3 beeps, that's 3S obviously. Now the AR631 is flashing at me at this point we're going to take the bind plug out okay bind plug out now we are going to um, hold down the bind button and turn on the controller face it away from the airplane it says binding dsmx 22 milliseconds okay if you guys notice the airplane cycled through twice that means it is in safe mode we did that correctly um awesome that's good news right guys Let's see if our, uh, everything works. Ailerons, awesome. Um, my elevator actually is not gonna work right now because I haven't hooked it up. Um, I needed to make sure my trims were at zero. I needed to make sure it was centered on the servo itself. Now I can actually hook it up. My rudder and my elevator have not been hooked up yet, guys. And I did not want to set this up with it being too high. See, if I would have set it up how I had it, it looks like the elevator's actually got an up angle right here. That is not what you want. You want it to be straight through. It says so in the manual. Some planes you might want a little bit of an up kick. But this one is supposed to be straight, um, so I need to screw this in. Let's go one full turn and see if that's enough. Actually, one full turn made that look really level to me. Really level. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it on there. Nice, nice. How in the world are you guys gonna see the rudder? I guess if I just tip it like this. Okay, also, the rudder needs to be straight. Let me stand behind it, guys. You might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just standing behind it, making sure everything looks straight. It looks like it's kicked to the side, which means I need to lengthen this one. So let me, let me lengthen this one a full turn. And that was actually too far, so we're going to go back in half a turn. I really like to keep my... Uh, my links lined up really straight too, so they're not all on an angle and stuff. So just make sure they're nice and straight. Now you can see my rudder is nice and lined up. Here, let me spin it backwards so you guys can see. Voila! You see that? Yes! Before it was off just to the side. Everything should work now. Rudder, elevator, ailerons. Let's try some motor. Um, my kill switch is on. Let's see if that worked. Okay, see no engine. That's good. Kill switch off. Okay, it went to instant power. Uh, as soon as I kicked it off, it went to instant power, even though I was at zero. A good way to correct that is to reprogram where your stick position is. To do that, unplug your plane, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my transmitter just for a second, just so it can rethink everything. Makes it easier on stuff, I think. I think I could have done it without, but I'm doing it just so there is no 
hiccup at all. Now my transmitter's on, I'm gonna turn this stick all the way to 100%. Just turn your stick all the way up. I know you're not supposed to plug it in with it up, but you are when you're programming the throttle, so. Now that the throttle is all the way up, I'm gonna keep my arm out of the way of the propeller, just in case. See, there's one, two, three, but it didn't, it didn't fully go until I put the throttle down. Now it should be... Guys, it's stuck! It's stuck there for a second. What the heck happened? Let me try that again, I guess. Let me try that again. Throttle all the way up, plugging it back in. Guys, that's not right. What's that, what's that doing that for? Let's figure this out. It should program the throttle to not do that. And I don't know why it's doing that now. See, whole switch is working, but as soon as I kick it off, it goes to power. I don't like that. It should actually have the whole switch working. Gosh, I don't know, guys. I guess we could try it one more time. It should work. One thing I forgot to mention, this AR631 receiver does have the bind button on it. I just use the bind plug because that's easier to put it into safe mode that way. Oh, I had a thought, I had a thought. With hold mode on, it is killing the throttle. So let's take hold mode off. Boop. Okay, hold is off now. Now let's go 100% throttle. Oh, warning throttle high. Yep, okay, turn the throttle down to turn on the transmitter. Then turn throttle high. Now plug in airplane. See, now it didn't go doo -doo -doo and finish its whole cycle until I go throttle down. Now it went doo -doo -doo to finish its cycle. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, that's what our problem was. Hold switch being on prevented us from programming our throttle. So now I actually have throttle hold off and it's off. I have throttle on now. Let's hit the kill switch see if it works. Perfect, guys. That was perfect. That's what our problem was. If you guys are ever fighting that to program your throttle, make sure your hold is off. It will not recognize the throttle inputs until you turn it off. Perfect. Yes. All right. I was a little bit worried, guys, but it's done. It's done. Should we check and see if everything works? The only way that AS3X is going to work is if you're above. Okay, let me stand on the other side. You got to go above 25% throttle to engage the AS3X, which I have now done. So if I tilt it to the left, Yep, so when I tilted it to the left, the right aileron came up. When I tilt it to the right, the right aileron comes up. Yep. And when I tip the nose down, the elevators come up. When I tip it up, the elevators go down. When I tip the nose to the left, the rudder went to the right. Yes, everything's working. AS3X is working just fine. Now, let's check and see if SAFE is working for me, guys. Shall we? Oh, guess what we haven't done yet? We have not assigned safe to a switch. I am going to assign it to switch B, like I was mistakenly talking about earlier. Do you guys want me to move the camera? Can you see? Here, let me move the camera for a second. Okay, here we are, here we are. You guys see everything okay now? To assign safe to a switch, you must bind it in safe mode first. If you bind it in regular mode, this will not work. Bind it in safe mode first, then, Hold both your sticks to the inside corner, whatever stick, whatever switch you want, cycle it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then it did a, uh, the, the plane did move its uh, surfaces differently after that. So let's see if safe mode is now working. I don't know if you guys heard that, but after I did the fifth cycle, the, uh, the, the surfaces moved differently. I don't know if you heard that or not. Now with it cycled five times, it should be in safe mode right now, right? Good way to tell, just flip this sucker upside down, and if it tries to fight itself right at the midpoint, oh yeah, see? It's trying to decide, oh, I need to roll all the way to the left, or I need to roll all the way to the right to get straight. Now, let's see if I flip this switch. <laughs> It didn't work. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. But this time in right side up. Okay, I don't think it worked, guys. I don't think it worked. Let me try this again. You guys have seen it now. Let me try this again.
Okay, I think it's I think it's worked, guys. Yeah, I think it's worked. Now we should just be in regular flight mode. It is 3x mode. Yeah, see now it's not trying to flip me back over. Okay, okay. You can also see too, um, in safe mode you don't get full surface control. So if I hold full elevator and then just flip to safe mode, it takes some of that away. That's safe mode, that's uh, normal mode. Safe mode, normal mode. Um, let's see if we got, okay there's low rates, there's high rates, yeah. Aileron, same thing. <laughs> guys, we're ready. This thing's ready to go, guys. This thing's got all sorts of tons of power. Hold switch now works. Remember, if you're trying to program your throttle, make sure you have your hold switch off so it can actually recognize the throttle inputs. If not, it won't recognize it. That's it. Guys, this thing is bound. It's ready to fly. We're gonna go to the airfield now, hopefully soon. I really wanna go fly it soon, guys. I've been super antsy to get this thing in the air. I really wanna try some stunts with it. I really hope I don't crash it. I hope not. But it is one of my favorite planes on the simulator, and I like to get a little bit crazy with it sometimes. So, everybody stand prayer for this little dude in here and make sure he stays all right, huh? Hope this helps somebody. Um, we had a few issues in here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the issues in here just because you may run across those issues as well. And I hope that this helps you work through them. So, yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the point of some of these videos, right? Help people get through some of them, entertain them. But, Entertainment moment. Entertainment. Some of them are, uh, you know, informative. Some of them are going to be whatever, you know. So hopefully this helps somebody. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the airfield hopefully soon. Hopefully. Life is busy right now, guys. Life is very busy right now. So hopefully soon we'll see you at the airfield. Ah, see you. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.